Hey everyone, so I'm going to talk about a potential Josh Doxson trade uh, and just whether or not they should be flirting with the idea to acquire him and you know, kind of searching for a third receiver anyway. He's supposedly on the trade market and has played with Kirk before in both 2016 and 2017 and his rookie year in 2016, he only had two receptions for 66 yards. So take that as you will. And in 2017, when he was playing with him, he had 35 catches on 78 targets for 502 yards and six touchdowns, averaging 14.3 yards a catch. So in total, with Kirk, he caught 37 he caught 37 balls on 84 targets for 568 yards, a 15.4 average yards per catch, six touchdowns, and his catch percentage was about 44%. So primarily used as a deep threat kind of guy and as a red zone kind of guy, as you could tell with the touchdowns and the yards per reception. But I'm not sure he could do much more than that. And... I think the amount of targets to amount of catches is a tad bit concerning. And he did kind of improve that a little bit in 2018 without Kirk involved. And he had the same amount of targets in 2018 that he did in 2017 with those 78. But he actually caught 44 of those passes instead of 35. Now he had less yards and less touchdowns with 532 compared to his 568 and 2-2-6. So there is that. And, but, you know, he was able to haul in nine more passes, but you also didn't really have, you know, they kind of had some quarterback turmoil. So not as much of a going deep, I imagine, with, Josh Doxson last year. And that kind of shows in his yards per reception going down from 14.3 to 12.1. So I think if Minnesota were to entertain this option of things, uh, it would have to cost next to nothing or nothing pretty much because they're already down a fifth round draft pick from Vendick. And I want to rule out involving, you know, Treadwell, if they were to exchange for a trade, just because you could use the whole, these are two guys that just need a change of scenery kind of thing. I mean, I, I think we've all heard that talking point before one point or another. So I think that could be a thing, but I really think this would have to be for not a 2020 draft pick, but for a 2021 draft pick, probably. And that's where I think you might be able to involve Treadwell, where if they are still interested in some receiver depth, maybe it's like, hey, how about we just exchange? And should they, though? It's a little... I don't think it would hurt, as you know, because they are searching for number three. And he's also been labeled as a bust as well. A little bit less of a bust than Tread. But shouldn't cost much to go get him. And it is very helpful that he does have familiarity with our quarterback, but as much as he can kind of, you know, encourage them to go get him, he can just as well as veto it, because if he didn't like him, obviously he probably won't go spend assets to go get him. But if it doesn't cost much, and potentially like a 2021, like, late draft pick, whether it be somewhere between 5th and 7th round and tread well, I think it might be worth it. it. might be. You never know. So it could be worth it. And the fourth preseason game was tonight. Also kind of wanted to touch base on that. There's a little less to say just because, you know, there's not many meaningful players playing in the game. But I do think we have to talk about the Vedvik situation, obviously. I kind of mentioned him before a little bit, but he, if he makes the roster, which is kind of where we're at now, we don't even know if he's going to make the roster, which is a tad ridiculous since we spent a five on him to go get him from Baltimore. But if he does, he's definitely a punter. Dan Bailey has made all of his kicks and stuff. So 
Um, I don't even think it's a guarantee that Vedvik's on the roster anymore. It's kind of it's kind of sad, but I it's still hard to see them cut a guy who they just spent a fifth round draft pick for. So my guess is he would be the punter, and I saw Zimmer kind of blame some of the guys filling lanes as to why that one kick was returned. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think, whether, you know, Doxon or Vedvik. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Until next time, I bid y'all adieu.